Mount Sinai Hospital is offering COVID-19 convalescent plasma to patients who are very sick with COVID-19 or who are at risk of becoming very sick. Convalescent plasma is a transfusion of antibodies donated by people who have recovered from COVID-19 at a point when their bloodstream is particularly high in antibodies against the virus. Antibodies are proteins made by the body's immune system to fight infections and to protect against catching the same infection again. Once a person is infected, the immune system begins making antibodies, which circulate in the bloodstream like soldiers on patrol, keeping watch for any signs that the infection has come back. Importantly, the immune system keeps making these antibodies for many weeks after the infection is completely gone and the person has totally recovered. Plasma is the liquid part of blood, which contains the antibodies. COVID-19 convalescent plasma is obtained from people who previously had COVID-19, but have now fully recovered. They are convalescent, so the treatment is called convalescent plasma. These people are donating their blood and the antibodies in their blood because they want to help others who are sick with COVID-19 now. Thousands of people around the New York City area have volunteered to become plasma donors just because they want to help. All plasma donor volunteers were tested to make sure that they have high antibody levels against the virus that causes COVID-19. As with all blood donations, the blood bank has also screened the plasma for other infections. The goal of the experimental treatment is to give you extra antibodies donated by a person who has already recovered from COVID-19 to help your immune system fight off the virus now. Convalescent plasma has been used with other new respiratory infections, including the 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic, the 2003 SARS epidemic, and the 2012 MERS epidemic, when no other therapies were yet available. Although promising, convalescent plasma has not been shown to work every time that it has been given to patients, so it is not yet approved by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, for routine use in the United States. However, because we lack other therapies known to work against COVID-19, and because convalescent plasma has worked in other diseases, the FDA is allowing doctors and hospitals to ask for permission to give it to sick COVID-19 patients as an investigational therapy, meaning one that is not proven to work in this disease, but it might. If a patient is eligible and agrees to receive this investigational treatment, doctors will ask them for more information about their health, things like their medical history, their blood type, whether they've had a previous blood transfusion, and similar important health details. They will also ask women if they have recently been pregnant or might be pregnant now. The experimental treatment itself will last approximately one to four hours. As with all blood products, there is the possibility that you will have a transfusion reaction to the convalescent plasma. These reactions are generally mild and temporary. Other rare but more serious complications may occur during plasma infusion. Your doctor will explain it to you in more detail. Mount Sinai Hospital is working hard to offer our patients a full recovery soon. Thanks.